More and more businesses are going to be slowly reopening here in western New York. And as our region moves through the state's phased reopening plan, that also means that essential businesses like veterinarians can now expand their services. Earlier today, Most Buffalo's Kate Welshover had a digital chat with Dr. Reed Stevens of the Niagara Frontier Veterinary Association to answer some of your questions concerning your pets. And so we have one question from one of our Twitter users who said, from the tiger at the Bronx Zoo to the pug in North Carolina that caught the virus weeks ago, I'm curious about warning signs we might want to look for in our pets um, regarding the virus now that we're bringing them back for grooming and checkups where other pets are going to be. So what should people be concerned about or not concerned about there? So the, the concern is in terms of the disease itself. Um, I will tell from, from my, I, I'm not an expert in, in any way on human respiratory diseases, um, but I will tell you that when it comes to veterinary respiratory diseases, it's one of the hardest uh, type of diseases to develop a vaccine for and for a vaccine that is efficacious. Look at our kennel cough vaccine. It's, 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 fortunately, it's one of our weakest diseases, but it's also one of our weakest vaccines against. And so we do see dogs that have been vaccinated for kennel cough and they still get the disease. And, and some of your viewers may have experienced that, unfortunately. But fortunately, that's not a disease that causes serious health concerns. Um, there, are, there are other respiratory diseases uh, that, that, that do affect pets. And, and so that's my point. Look for signs of coughing. Look for signs for exercise intolerance. Look for signs of, of a dog that nor um, or cat um, that is is normally hale and hearty and, and running around and being more lethargic. Um, biggest chance of what that's going to be is something else. Uh, it's very unlikely for us to see that here in Western New York. Uh, but but things happen and one of the great things about the training for veterinarians is that we look at all diseases and we look at all species um, and we're always listening to our clients in terms of what they're saying our job is to separate the wheat from the chaff and, and design you know decide whether or not that's a serious concern and, and to and to address it with you all good advice dr reed stevens thanks so much for being with us happy to do it thank you